This is part two of our videos on section 1.2 dealing with conditionals and biconditionals. In this video, we discuss taking a useful denial of a conditional statement. This is such an important idea that I want to emphasize it by devoting the entire video to just that one point. We saw in the previous video that the truth table for the conditional statement P implies Q is given by this part of the table. So that means we can easily produce the truth table for the negation of P implies Q just by reversing all of these values here. And you can see that that's what I've done. So note that the negation of P implies Q is true precisely in this instance here when P is true and Q is false. Can you think of another proposition that is true precisely when P is true and Q is false? Put the video on pause and see if you can come up with it. Well, do you have the answer? Another proposition that's true precisely when P is true and Q is false is P and not Q. You see, because the only way that P and not Q can be true, since it's an AND statement, is when this one is true and this one is true, and that happens precisely when P is true and Q is false. So that means that we have that the proposition um, P and not Q is equivalent to the negation of P implies Q. So if we were to use the, this useful denial here to express in words what it means to say it is not the case that P implies Q is true, we would say P is true and Q is false. Okay, here's an example for you to practice on. Take the statement, if E is a compact set, then E is a closed set. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't understand what the terms compact set or closed set means. All that really matters is that it's a conditional statement of the form P implies Q, where P is E is a compact set and Q is E is a closed set. So I want you to tell me what is a useful denial of this. Okay, so here are your choices. You have to pick, pick the right one. So have a look at it and see if the one that uh, you think is correct is on this list. So the first thing to recall is that uh, a useful denial of P implies Q is P and not Q. P and not Q is not a conditional statement at all. So if you're looking for a negation of any kind of a conditional statement, you should never write down a conditional statement. So A and D must be incorrect. It's a very common mistake for students to pick one of those two. Because they think if you start with a conditional, then it's always going to be a conditional no matter what you do to it. And that's not the case. So recall that the correct answer was um, P and not Q. P and not Q is this one here. 